Good morning, everyone. So we are with Arthur and Marcel Thibault, member of Popetit.io. We are a real estate technology company, and meaning that we develop innovative and digital solutions to help real estate professionals in their prospecting work. So today at IMO22, if we talk uh, each other about real estate developments, so the construction of new building, I think everyone will be at least agree about one point is that Today, one of the main difficulties for a new real estate development project is to find your development site. So, is to find a high potential land for your next development project. This is more and more difficult in Switzerland, as this is really time-consuming for our customers. So, this is why at Property, we develop an innovative and digital solution to help real estate professionals to easily and quickly identify and analyze high potential land for the next real estate development project. So the first thing we develop, it's what we name the development scores. So the development scores, it's a score from zero to 100. We calculate it automatically for every part of land. So a land with a score of zero means it's not interesting for a new real estate development project. So you can think about uh, land that is in agricultural zoning or in a forest, but you can also think about the land that has been developed three, four years ago. It's not interesting for a new developer to take this land and do a new development. On the other side, when you cross 50 and you reach close to 100, this means this is a dream land for a new development project. So a great development, a great a land with high potential for a new development. So. Let's take an example in the canton of Zurich with the city of Talwil. So we just loaded the city of Talwil. And what we show you, it's all the land that is currently in the building area in Talwil. So red is not interesting for a new real estate development project, but green is a good candidate for a new real estate development project. So if we zoom out in this zone, for example, we see we have some plot of land with high potential surrounded by plot of land with few potential. So if we just take a look about other thematic map, we can show you also information about the construction here of the building. So we can see in the middle that we are hold construction building. If we take a look about the map, about the number of unit house, we can see also that we have single family house in the center surrounded by multi-family apartments. So if we go back to the development score, and we want to take a look about the potential of this plot of land. But better, we want to do a grouping of land because we want to do a development on all these different pieces of land. We just select all the land. Here you have the basic information about the land. But when you want to go deeper about the analysis, you just click on the detail analysis. And here, we will give you all the information you need to know to you with your competency, your knowledge to understand the potential and what you can do on this plot of land. You have a 3D view of the parcel, so we can see that it's surrounded by a multi-family house, where here's a single family house. We give you all the information about the area. If there is a restriction, polluted zone, reserve zone, underprotected zone, we will give you the information. We will give you a list of all the buildings with the year of construction, the ground area, the living space that today is currently on this plot of land, on this grouping plot of land, meaning that we can compare what is currently built on this land versus what you can build based on the regulation. So here, for example, we can see that 50% of this plot of land is underexploited, meaning that you can transform 600 meters to this land in living space. We'll give you also information about the livability. Is it well situated in terms of commodities, supermarkets, school? Information about the geography of the land, so altimetry, 3D topography, information about the measurement also on the land, so to have an overview about the different dimensions that you have on the land. We'll give you information about the history also, especially about the public inquiries. So for example, we give you what happened around this land. So we are today analyzing the, the blue land. If we take only a look to the development, we can see there is a development here. And so two months ago, there is a building permit to build five apartments in this plot of land. We give you also an analysis of the building surrounding this piece of land. 
with a shadow analysis so you can anticipate and potentially understand the claim that you will have from the neighborhood if you do a new development of this piece of land. In summary, I will not go more in detail, but we give you all the information you need to do to have a deep analysis on the land. So at Property, we revolutionize the way that how customers can identify and assess high potential land for the development project by transforming a daily long process into a few minutes analysis. So we started uh, in a canton of Vaux and Geneva, then to all Romandie and to Bern, and we are happy today to tell you that we are available in Zurich, like you have seen during uh, our demonstration, and will be soon available also in Basel, Argo, and in a few months in all Switzerland. So we have a team of eight members, all based in Switzerland. Uh, we have today in Romandy more than 60 paying customers. This is a mix of real estate agency developers, but also real estate fund managers. So we are very proud to have some of our customers that is present at IMO 22 today. And if you need to identify potential land for the next development project, if you want to assess the potential of the land that you own today, we can help you in this work. So please just come to see us with Arthur, send us a mail at contact at property.com or better, just go to our website, you book a one hour demo and you will have a full immersion about the potential of our solution. Thank you.